Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Taylor Epps from 7 News. We're going to take you through the 716 in two minutes. Thousands of local health care workers are casting final votes on whether or not to authorize a strike. Unions representing Kaleida Health workers are wrapping up their strike authorization vote today. If they decide to authorize a strike, they'll need to give Kaleida 10 days notice before that strike begins. Both sides are expected to continue negotiations tomorrow, but at this point, Kaleida says both sides are still far apart. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, along with Congressman Brian Higgins and the Buffalo Urban League, are heading to the White House. It's for the United We Stand Summit with the aim of combating hate-based violence. Also today, a piece of Queen City history has a date with the demolition crew. It's been a long, hard fight for the area's preservationist, but demolition expected to begin today on the Great Northern Grain Elevator. This whole process, according to a city spokesperson, could take up to eight months to complete. The elevator is severely damaged in a windstorm last December. And it is a perfect day to get out and head over to the Delavan Grider Farmer's Market, which is back up and running today, starting at 4 o'clock. You'll be able to stock up on healthy local fruits and veggies. The market open every other week outside the Delavan Grider Community Center until 7 p.m. Cash, checks, credit cards, SNAP, double up food bucks, and senior farmer's checks all accepted. Time now to check in with meteorologist Mary Beth Robel for that seven weather forecast. Hi, Mary Beth. Good afternoon to you, Taylor. It is going to be a lovely but cool afternoon here in Western New York. We're looking for high temperatures to go into the mid 60s. Just a light breeze from the north, five to 10 miles an hour. And one more chilly night tonight. We're going to be dropping it down close to 50 degrees with fair skies. For tomorrow, sunshine and clouds not as cool. Temperatures rebounding back into the 70s. And then a hint of summer in the air as we go into the week and a chance of storm Sunday night going into Monday.